Welcome back to our live show. You know, when the family story goes that your father won your mother in a poker game and you're a best-selling author, what else can you do but share that story on stage? That's just what Richmonder David L. Robbins does with his new play, Sam and Carol, a play where everything is true. David is here with us today along with the play's director, Jan Powell, and Eva DeVirgilis, who is one of the two actors in the play who will tackle all 29 roles. Good morning to all of you. I think I might have messed up your name. Oh, Good that's morning. all right. I mess it up Say every it for day. Say me. Divergilis. That's the Americanized version. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and this play has been marinating in your mind the story for a while, but, but as you say, everything is true. Uh, there's an old quote from Thucydides that says, stories happen to storytellers. Uh -huh. So there's nothing particularly special about my family history that relates itself to a story, except for the fact that it's through the lens of my eyes. and. I, I turned it into a story, but I, I, I've known growing up as I, as I have and in my family that I was living in stories. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I come from a storytelling uh, mother. My mother was, um, she was an avid liar. <laughs> no, she told stories. Yeah, um, but, she was, but she was a very benign liar. Mm -hmm. And my mother would look at things, and, and one of the lines from the play is that my mother had no, my mother was like the rest of us. She loved best what loved her back. And the truth was never a great fan of my mother, so she in return was not a great fan of the truth. Mm. And so she made up better things than the world had in it. Um, but they were always benign. So was it true that your dad won your mom oh, in absolutely. a poker game? Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> During World War II? Yeah, he did. And then she, she lied about her age in high school, joined the Women's Auxiliary Army Corps, went to basic training, and, and my father never knew she was in the Army until he met her in Pearl Harbor. They'd been corresponding for most of a year, and she never mentioned, oh, I'm in basic training. <laughs> and because the letters, she would send the letters back to my aunt in Pittsburgh, and my aunt would send the letters to dad. So when dad got the letters from my mom, which I say again, made no mention of the fact that she was in basic training, uh, the letters were postmarked Pittsburgh. So dad never knew until he was laying eyes on her. And the play begins um, in that wonderful <laughs> launching pad. <laughs> so, Jan, when this idea came mm. to you, what's it like to produce a, a show like this that, that is based on truth and is mm -hmm. local, and, and it's a very big story, too, and a very yeah. um, identifiable and relatable story? Absolutely. I mean, when uh, David first read the play to me, I said, uh, this reminds me of my own family. It reminded me particularly of my father, who uh, was in World War II in the Korean War in the Navy. And uh, it it is a very particular story, but it's also extremely universal, and that's what appealed to me about it. Um, there are some outlandish things there, but it really is a, cel a celebration <laughs> of uh, the ordinary trials, tribulations, and mishaps and hilarities of getting through every day. Um, and uh, it, it spans from 1942 to 1995. And we have these two amazing actors who play all these roles going through all of these generations. Mm -hmm. So it was an exciting challenge uh, and a beautiful work. Yeah. Eva, you play Carol, but you play a lot more characters, as we mentioned. And Carol is just a, yes. almost a minor character in yes. the play. Yeah, it's, it's a story that tells um, the people surrounding Sam and Carol. So some of it's hearsay of the, their friends or family, people they just have brief run-ins with. But... Carol or Sam really affected their lives, these little moments, and so characters talk about these moments. So it is a blast to be able to tell David's story and create fun characters and learn who these people were, but then also develop a, our own characters with it. Now you've done a one-woman play, so yes. it must be nice to have another actor on stage oh, with you. Oh yeah, <laughs> share, share some of the words, yeah. It's, it's been great, it's wonderful. Nick Aleph is a wonderful actor, and we're having a lot of fun. And David, it was by choice that you created a play that only took two actors after your experience with your first play, right? Well, I, you know, um, I actually wrote this play for Eva. Oh. Um, this play That's was born wonderful. after a, a, a wonderful day spent sailing with her and Scott Wichman, another really notable Richmond mm -hmm. actor. Scott's been and here with us, And it was yes. like mm -hmm. being sailing with Rich Little and Jonathan Winter. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they only spent, they only kind of touched on their own personalities during the course of the day, but they were five dozen different people during the day. And I thought, I wonder if I could create a piece that could perhaps encapsulate the immense talents and the really plastic uh, moldability of both of them. Um, and then Scott, as many people know, is deployed right now mm -hmm. uh, in, in Africa. He's in the Navy. So um, we uh, were just immensely fortunate, just as Jan said, to get Nick Aliff. Um, Nick brings a gravitas and a power to this 
the, the male roles in this play that are just a spectacularly, perfectly attuned uh, counterpoint to Eva's, um, I'd say, pyrotechnic skills. I mean, Eva, yeah. Eva just glows on the stage, and Nick really gives, and Nick has his glowing moments, of course, but Nick grounds the, the male part so perfectly. Um, I, I'm going to just say, I, we have an A team. This is a spectacular director. Yes. In the true sense of the word spectacular, where you see things, you go, that's good, that's average, that's better than good. This is spectacular. And, and it, it takes Jan's talents to match what Eva and Nick are bringing to it. And um, I think I'm proud as a playwright, proud as the, and a little humiliated sometimes <laughs> um, by the things I'm seeing on stage. But, but it's, uh, it's going to be a remarkable experience, I think, for anybody in the audience. It certainly is going to be for me. Well, I would put you in the spectacular class as well with this play. Um, Jan, Eva's going to do a monologue for us from the show. Mm -hmm. Can you set it up for us? Yes, unless you'd rather unless set you'd it rather. up. Well, I'd rather do one thing first um, mm -hmm. before we do that. Aww. These are my mother's pearls. Oh, and my and God. I wanted you to wear them on opening night. Thank oh. you. I am honored. That's uh, wonderful. And They're now, beautiful. Would you set, would you set the <laughs> and now I will set now, the scene now that up. you set her up and then <laughs> you can't talk. Right. Yes. So this is uh, this is Rose, who is Sam's mother, and she is uh, describing what happened when Sam comes home from war with a brand new and very young wife. Mm. So that will be coming up here on Virginia this morning. And now you've got a piece of Carol. I'm so excited. That's, That's amazing. Beautiful. It's Thank going to be you. a big night. You want to be there for opening night. Henley Street Theater and Richmond Shakespeare present the world premiere of award-winning author David L. Robbins' new project, Sam and Carol, a play where everything is true. There's a preview tomorrow, April 2nd at 7 p.m. The show will open this Friday, April 3rd, and will run through April 25th. You're going to want to go back and see it again and again. All performances are at the Gottwald Playhouse at Richmond Center Stage downtown, and there'll be talk Talkbacks from this Acts of Faith Festival production on April 10th, 12th, and 19th, featuring the author, the actors, and the director.